Okay, hey guys, so yeah, I never knew what I signed up for when, I, when, when people said it was Ignite, so it's a lot of stress actually going on, so let me look at a couple of notes. Uh, to start with, uh, shortly, so it says here I'm, I'm from Atlantic Services, it's actually going to tell you a secret. I also run another business which is software penetration testing and source code analysis, so I have two different views on this, so it's not just development and these kind of things and DevOps. So I'm a strong believer that on a couple of things. First of all, business drives the needs for the re requirements and for security and for the software. Short story, GDPR, everybody got scared of it this year. Uh, main reason, in, in the boards, uh, in the boardrooms, mostly it was for questions about 20 millions in fines and 4% of turnover is everything. So it came on the table of DevOps as well. Who we have as roles here, let's assume Tom, Linda, two guys there, we have controller. Controller is an organization which processes your data, which is in agreement with you. And we have also a processor who can work with the data. Both of them most likely have DevOps teams in place. So both of them have somebody who needs to build the software, run the software, and make the things operate as smooth as possible in this case, right? Uh, what else? So GDPR is mostly about security sanity. So that means it doesn't change much if you have been security aware before. It's fairly simple for your organization in this case. So it's nothing unique. So that means, and I can say security sanity is becoming better, but there are certain things which come out as requirements from DevOps side. So how does it relate to DevOps in this case? We have some good examples and we have some bad examples of things, how they work, right? So for example, we have Tom's Linda, the data is being processed by software in this case, and there could be good examples on the data they can use and also bad examples. So I have to run a bit faster in this case. From company side, there's also one more thing. That means companies want to make stuff, want to be safe. They don't want to pay the fines. They don't want to have the incidents and all these kind of things. So this also affects the DevOps side. So requirements from GDPR, stuff which, we sh which affects us. First of all, privacy by default. That means what data is sensitive, we should know. We should need to reestablish in the data who we should have the agreements to process data. You have examples right now where you have to implement in software things like confirmation that people approve that, your, that their data is going to be processed and other things. Right of access. So for example, person can have the right to obtain information if you are processing their data. Do you do it automatically in the software? Do you build it as part of software? Or do you actually just you know, do of other things? Right of rectification. That means the right to, ch to correct mistaken data. A couple of issues with this. For example, you are not the original owner of the data. So what kind of process do you have as part of development process or integration process to have there? One of the most tricky ones also is right, for er right of erasure, so that means right to be forgotten in this case. So the question is, for example, do you automate this in your systems, or do you have this as a standalone thing you do one by one? How do you erase person from the system if needed to? Similar things, right to restrict processing, which means putting data in quarantine for a certain amount of time. This is also a major issue for many software, pieces of software, because they do not support this thing. So we might need to do different changes to this to enable these things, right? Right to data portability, simple examples, Google, Facebook, other things, they allow you to download all the data they have about you. The question is, if you have a front-facing application to the users, do you need this as well or no? That's another thing over there. One more thing from GDPR, automated profiling. This means in this case, the ability from your application side to automatically profile users and do give this make decisions for them. If this affects the user's rights, that, may be, that, that might be a major issue in this case. So what we have, to development side, we need to do a lot more logging, we need, to we need to present these ideas which we have for development, we need to maybe change the concepts our software is built in this case. On the operations side, we need to assign things for operations, like how to handle incidents, how to do, this, how to do these erasures, how to do these quarantines, stopping of partial data processing, which also might change the way we can deploy things to the, to which we need in this case. Couple other issues, use of pre-compiled libraries and tools. Some of them, we had a big scandal, I think, with Yandex Taxi sending data out. So if, for example, you use something like this, you have to be concerned about where does this application you're using sends the data, where does it store the data, how does it work with the data, right? So the main question in this case might be, do we need to redesign the applications which we might actually be using in every case? In many cases, we might have the need to redesign. In some, ca in some cases, we might not. So GDPR in this case, more or less is security sanity. So it's, it's a question about enabling you to actually build secure applications and make you think of this more and have also one more thing, which is management support. So something which allows you, give you gives you financing, time, resources needed for that, a couple other things as needed. Thanks.